so he went downstairs to his workshop to find a suitable stick. I thought Mommy would be more upset at me running away and wanting to be a hobo, I said to Dad. Well, everybody's got to be something, he answered. At least you've got plans. A lot of kids your age don't yet. So there were no tears from either of them. No imploring me to stay, no threatening to call the police. My mother was on the phone talking to my grandmother when Dad and I came back upstairs with the stick. Yes, that's right. A hobo. No, no, I don't know when he'll be back. As I said earlier, I was quite surprised at how well they were taking the news. In addition to the cheese sandwich on white bread and cut on the diagonal the way I liked it, my mother packed me an apple and two chocolate chip cookies. My father wrapped them in a kerchief and tied this to the end of the stick. You have to carry it over your shoulder, he said, demonstrating the technique. All real hobos do it that way.